Oops, by mistake, I really messed up here. So I'm going to do a part two with the Victor Reader Wave. And I'm going to show you now that this plays regular music CDs. Obviously, I'm not going to play the music out loud because I don't want to get a copyright strike. And the CD that we're going to test this out with is as follows. My all-time favorite. She has a show. And if you guys love listening to her, you definitely should check out her show. All capitalized. All capitalized letters. I don't know why. But like I said, this is this is the CD, and this is what I'm going to be using. The CD drive will spin very fast. All the features for Victor Reader Wave, that being, uh, uh, you know, all the book features like bookshelf and all that other stuff, bookmark and what have you, the go-to page, will be disabled. Only for regular audio CDs. And if you're using MP3 CDs, then your go-to page, go-to bookmark, and all that stuff will not be disabled. And your Where Am I feature will not be disabled. So right now, since I'm using a regular audio CD, all the features except for numbers 4 and 6, your, your buttons down here, your volume, and your power are the ones that will not be disabled, and your lock. So let's go ahead and power it on. And now you're going to hear the CD drive spin very fast, and this is what I'm talking about. It will gobble up batteries. So please use the power supply for this. Whoops, okay, it looks like it's not working perfectly well. So I'm going to go ahead and power it off and actually reset it. So to accomplish that, press and hold, you will hear a beep, a long beep, and then a short beep. Come on. I am so sorry, guys. There you go. Alright, and now the music is playing. My all-time favorite song. And it will remember, when you're listening to an MP3 or, or a CD, it will automatically... Remember where you left off, so that's a good thing. Regardless if you pull the batteries out or, uh, or um, you know, pull the power supply off or remove the plug. So, also, what I want to state here, if you're also listening to Daisy Books, it will remember as well where you left off. So, for that, for MP3 CDs or bookmarks, or no, MP3 CDs or DAISY CDs, bookmarks are optional, quite frankly. But still, for safety reasons, use the bookmark for your books and what have you. So I just turned it off. And now I'm going to show you a comparison between Victor Reader 5 and Wave. So you guys could have an idea of what I'm talking about. Carrying case is the same. But once I pull the other one out... You will understand what I mean by Victor Reader Vibe. That one has a clock style interface. On the left, you have the wave. I'm actually, you know what? Screw it. I'm going to go alphabetically. On the left, you have the Victor Reader Vibe, which is more silvery in the middle. Kind of looks like a donut. Um, and then you have all your... Um, there's your logo there. And the screen is not backlit. On the Wave, the screen is backlit and you have a keypad. And the buttons have multiple functionalities. So this one I don't recommend. Because this one here will pause the music. And I'm going to use a Victor Reader Wave power supply because uh, they do have the same type of power supply. 
and it's the same one, same model. It won't fry it up, but still, for safety reasons, please use your uh, power supply that was um, issued with the Victor Reader Vibe. In this case, I'll show you with the music CD that it works. Same deal, same platform. It will also gobble up batteries if you're using a regular CD. The latch is on the front. Slide it to the right. Open with your other finger at the same time. So slide to the right. Sorry. Nope. Slide to the right. There you go. Oh. It opened by, by itself. And you do get your RFB and D logo possibly. Ah, uh, no, you don't. So what a surprise. Nope, I lied. I lied. You only get your Daisy logo on the on the device. So uh, to power it up, you press the number one. So here you have it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, zero, and then pound. You don't have a star key on this one. So press it. Let me put on my headphones, and you also get a CD drive. It's the same ordeal. If the lock switch is towards you. Victor Reader Vibe is unlocked and it's ready for usage. Lock, uh, push it away from you or slide it away from you. You just heard it click and the device is locked. So in this case, I'm going to go ahead and slide it back to where it was. Just like that. Come on. Now I want to be very careful with this because um, these were very hard to find. There you go. And let's go ahead and power it on. Now this one requ this one requires a little bit more power and this is not a backlit screen. I'll show you a Victor Reader Wave once I acquire one with the backlit screen, but it's playing an audio CD as you, as you may tell because, and then when I stop it, you're going to hear it stop it. So this is annoying. Okay, it stopped it, and I was just beginning the song, and it will not resume. Take my word for it. Okay, better watch my time here. 350. So when I press the button again, oh my god, and, and, and it starts the song all over again. And it doesn't do that for Daisy Books, so that's a shame. That So definitely this one, I don't recommend it if you're listening to regular music CDs. Use the Victor Reader Wave over here on my, on the right. Purchase that one over the Victor Reader Vibe. Okay, I just turned it off. And now I'm going to show you that it does play books, and it won't do the same thing with the, um, with the um, books here. Same ordeal. You get a limited amount of bookmarks. Let me get a book here for, for this. Alright, here we go. This is the this is how the books look like. Right here, this is a RFB and D book. Recording for the blind and dyslexic. Alright, and I'm gonna go ahead and close it and I'm gonna power it on. For a daisy book, it doesn't use a lot of power. In the future, I'll show you the Telex Professor. So I do give Victor Reader Vibe a thumbs up when it comes to the CD drive. It just said, welcome to Victor. Victor Reader Wave will say, welcome to Victor Reader. Okay. And now it's telling me to enter my password. So I'm going to, again, not issue that. I just confirmed it. 
And if you wish to go to page, you will press the note. Okay, so for that you will press, oh no. Okay, so for that you will press the 7 key to go to page. And I'll say that I want to go to page 3. And I will press play. Which is the confirm. And when the keypad is not activated, your 0 and your confirm will be your next and previous elements. And three will be your toggle. You also get a talking user's guide on CD if you wish to get more information. If I pause it by pressing five, play again. It doesn't do what it, what what it does with audio CD, so I'm going to reset it. Let's just go ahead and rewind the book. And I'm going to press pound for, for restarting to power off. All right, and there you are. So I just showed you the advantages and disadvantages of Victor Reader Vibe. I would prefer, like I said, the Victor Reader Wave all in all. And with that being said, that's going to be my broadcast. Want more information on the products? Uh, go ahead and consult your operator's manual. They both come with power supplies. They both come with earbuds. This is the power supply for the Victor Reader Vibe. Same type, unfortunately. This one shows signs of it being beat up. Uh, well, again, it's a pre-owned unit, so I'll put them back in their cases. Because I never, ever would... You know, show disregard for beautiful products like these and these are historical products they don't sell these anymore and I really really cherish these items okay I just put the Victor Reader Wave away now I'm going to put the Victor Reader Vibe in its case and uh, I'm sorry for doing a part two on the Victor Readers so that's going to be my broadcast for today and it was a pleasure doing these videos. Alright, bye guys!